Hello, Grandma DC here. It's morning. And I'm heading home from work. <laughs> it's a gray, rainy day. I will be back early today. I'll be back here at about 2.30 because today is drive to the airport day with a client. And um, it usually ices on this day. If you recall a year ago, I was driving and the trees look like glass. They did say there's a possibility of freezing fog up north. So uh, we didn't entirely miss the ice storm for this particular holiday. I consider the drive to the airport day the holiday. I do this every year. Uh, I should say this is uh, December uh, 19th, 2017. I know sometimes people make comments on my um, old videos that are a year old as if they're now and it's like, oh no, nothing in my life ever changes. This is just the year after I drove to the airport. Because I think I had an airport one last year with all the ice on the trees. It was pretty. But it was deadly. And dragging a suitcase through the ice and the sludge. I don't have to do that this year. And this year I'm going to have company on my way. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. That's going to really help a lot uh, with the issues and getting up there. They're talking about uh, rebuilding the Kansas City Airport. Right now we have like three hubs. You have to pull into the right terminal, A, B, or C. And last year I got in the wrong terminal. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. 18 degrees below zero. The plane was delayed. I, it was a nightmare. So this year is going to be beautiful, even though it's a gray day. They're just talking about some freezing fog up north, not here. And I'm going to get home, feed the animals, take care of everybody. Um, there were some issues over the weekend that got my little mind thinking. And, you know, I guess I am getting old. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, I'm getting old. And you know you're getting old when, you know, things that those young whippersnappers do really bother you, you know. And, um... I guess it's, you know, I would say that I had heard my grandmother say, you know, the young people today have a lack of respect and how we had long hair and we were a bunch of hippies and things. Oh, man, that's nothing. I bet, you know, I wish the hippies would come back. <laughs> that I could deal with. But I was uh, with grandkids over the weekend and, um, and ex in likes. And on the two and a half hour drive to go pick up the grandkids, my 40 year old ex son in like had his nose in his telephone playing a video game the whole way. Whatever happened to conversation? You know, there's that commercial now where that guy is driving along and the wife is listening to music and looking on an iPad or something and the kids are all in the back playing video games and he's like, I like driving alone. No one pays any attention to me anymore. I can say anything I want. I get a good driver discount. You know, it's like, poor thing. Looks over at his wife and she just smiles at him because she don't hear a thing he says, you know. That's kind of what I felt like. Makes you wonder what the future is going to look like with these kids, huh? Kind of scary. Food for thought. I'll be back. Okay, guys. Your daily dose of cute. <laughs> There's Star. He's going up for sale pretty soon. I figure I'll put him on the uh, Warrensburg Swap and Shop Pets for about 50 bucks. And we'll see if anybody wants a baby goat for Christmas. He's eating real good. They're just about weaned. And uh, Dad's over here snarfing up at the chicken's door. He's been trying to break in and get the chicken food because he's a pig goat. Right, Scud? Hey, Scud, tell him you got completely out of your outfit the other day and your harness. How you did it, I'll never know. Spats, how you doing this morning, huh? You got a full tummy? Kiki, ki, ki. Got a full tummy? You look very comfortable perched up on that log. Yes, you do. Pretty, pretty boy. Okay, well, as you can see, the yard is still full of trash and stuff, but do not despair. It's Christmas time, so nobody's going to come working <laughs> during the Christmas season. The weather's supposed to be warm this winter, warmer than usual. So, uh, uh, next Saturday, I've got 
a uh, kid coming, a son in like I have to go get him. And we're going to get all the pertinent areas where the water lines could be run cleaned out so there's no excuse for Pop to say, I can't get to nothing. So we're going to get that done. And then after the first of the year, I think we're going to have to try to find someone who's reasonable priced on a bobcat. Not the meow type bobcat. <laughs> the kind of type bobcat <laughs> to come and uh, get all this out. I wish I could find somebody that would come and cut some of this up into firewood so I could burn my fireplace. Uh, even that might be a little dangerous. I haven't burned that thing in a lot of years. So I'd be a little scared of it, but you know, maybe with a creosote log or something. And uh, it's uh, chilling today, but not super cold. It's weird for winter in Missouri. We're usually way colder than that by now. But, uh, you know, global warming. So there you go. A little more cute for you. And I'm going to go in and catch a nap because uh, I'm going to have to go back to work here in just a couple of few hours and drive to the Kansas City Airport. <laughs> what fun. It's about three hours. <laughs> I forgot to add something, and that was that um, Hazel wanted to name the chick Kissamy. She said that meant survivor in some book language that she was reading. And um, I said, I really liked Mercutio, because <laughs> that's Romeo's friend. And I thought, okay, we're going to have to name him Kissamy Mercutio. And I think I'll call him Merc for short. <laughs> So, uh, Merc is still in the cage and still growing exponentially. Oh, my goodness. Um, so, I'll, uh, I think we're going to call Merc Merc, short for Mercutio, and his middle or first name is going to be Kissamy. How about Mercutio Kissamy? Oh, that sounds better. I like that. There you go. <laughs> well, Merc has a name now. Maybe he'll survive. <laughs> Hello, Grandma DC here disastrous morning. I uh, made it to the airport yesterday and back to work. We didn't get back till midnight. Got off work this morning at 10 because we had staff meetings and so it was a, you know, one in the afternoon yesterday to 10 o'clock today shift. So it's gone a long time and I came in and I had presents from Leslie. Leslie, thank you so much. It was so sweet. It was another one of those big, uh, gallon pound things of pork rinds always can use pork rinds and a whole bunch of kitchen stuff thank you sweetheart so much you didn't have to do that it was so sweet all of it i can use and need but then i came outside to feed the chickens and uh let's just bid a fond farewell to pretty boy because the goats probably elvis had knocked off all the chicken coops they were on the ground in pieces yes and the little rooster pretty boy the young one and red were gone i did find and that and the uh one i had put romeo in with the hens last night they were all okay even though their pen was pretty messed up they uh I think Romeo probably kept all the girls inside and kept them safe. He wouldn't let them get out, even though it was pretty wide open. So uh, these little hens are all okay because they're tight in their little pen. I did find Red eventually. There he is. He's not as flighty. He's older and calmer. So uh, Scudner may not kill him right away. He's having a good time being free. But I dare say we will not be able to find Pretty Boy. Pretty Boy was just way too flighty. There's the cat. Probably all they're sniffing at a carcass, I'd imagine. I don't know. I haven't waded out through the sticks and the weeds and the junk to find him. So I dumped all the chicken boxes that were left. And, of course, there's Elvis and them all being piggies. Yes. What do you like that old chicken stuff for? That's gross. Scud. Angus, what is your problem? Oops, I better stop barking. I better stop barking. Angus, what is your problem? No problem, Mom, I'm just barking. Okay. 
Huh. I heard a rooster crowing over there. He could have made it into the barn. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe Pretty Boy will get lucky. It wasn't Red crowing, I'm sure. He's way over here. And I heard a crowing coming from in there. So, all right, well, maybe there's hope. We'll just let them run free then, because I'm not gonna be able to catch them. Nur, you have dog food. You do not need to be eating chicken food. What is it with chicken food that tastes so good to you guys? You have goat chow. Oh, so weird. All righty. <laughs> oh, up, oh, up, oh, Scud. You better watch it. Mama's going to wipe you out. Uh-uh. <laughs> Scud. Angus. Angus. Stop that. Angus. No. Stop. Bad dogs. No. Leave them alone. They weren't bothering you. Stop. And that ain't your food anyway. Oh, oh you're going to get it. Big guy's got his head down. Angus, you better run, son. Mama's going to get you. You keep that up. Smart move, Angus. Scott. There he comes. Come on, Angus. Better get inside. Because he's coming after you. Come on, let's go. Get up, big fella. Hump up. There you go. Scud, leave that rooster alone. I mean it. Scud. What, you got a stick on you or something? As long as that rooster stands its ground, he won't bother it. That little Sarama stands there. Oh, yeah, you tell him, Red. Let him have it. Look at that nice Sarama stance there. Isn't he pretty? And he's fast. Come on, Scud. He's going to get you. If I was you, Scud, I'd run. <laughs> Come on, boys. Let's go inside. You too, if you want, Red. Come on, I'll catch you then. All right. Like, share, and subscribe to keep up with the insanity. I'm going to see if I can get these guys to come inside and I'm going to start uploading this and then I'm going to take a nap. Cookie on the end. I found both the little roosters. Well, Scud found them. <laughs> Didn't you? <laughs> and he was, uh, he hadn't killed them. They had been fighting with each other though. The little one was pretty beat up, but they are now back in pens and safe. I couldn't just leave them out. They're okay. So Pretty Boy and Red are safe and probably duking it out still as we speak. <laughs> Bye. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs>